Let's face it, Reaper is hands down the biggest, the baddest, the bestest digital audio workstation available on Linux with a scythe in the logo. Let's get it installed. Reaper is available on Linux in both 32 and 64 bit on ARM and x86. But since we're not going to be installing this on a Raspberry Pi or a retro gaming PC, let's go ahead and click that big green square for the 64 bit version. For this example, I'm going to be saving the file to my downloads folder in my home directory. So let's crack open a terminal. We're going to cd into the downloads directory and we're going to run a list command. There's the tar file we just downloaded. What we need to do is decompress it. And to do that, we're just going to use tar xf. What's that going to do? That's going to extract everything into a directory. And speaking of directories, let's go ahead and change into the one we just created and run list again. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is reaper install.sh. Now, if you're coming from Windows, I want you to think of that as an executable, exe. We need to run it. And we're going to do that with dot forward slash followed by install reaper.sh. And so begins our text adventure. We have options to install reaper, we can add desktop integration, or you know what? We could just run it right from this directory. I'm going to select install by typing I and tapping enter. Now we need to tell Reaper where to install. You can pick your home directory or opt, and that's going to do a system wide install. I'm going to select opt, so number one, it is. Up next, desktop integration. You're going to want that. That's definitely something we want to see. So go ahead and press Y. And would you like to symlink Reaper to USR local bin? You do. Trust me on that. So let's hit Y again. At the end here, this is a little summary. All the options that we've selected. Everything looks good, so let's keep on hitting Y. Now Reaper's gonna want those root digits. Go ahead, type that in, press enter. Bam, we did it. And all without being eaten by a grow. Now that we have Reaper installed, we can launch it from the applications menu or the desktop. It's so tiny. We'll fix that in a minute, don't worry about it. But up first is our traditional Reaper error message. We need to tell Reaper about our audio interface. So let's go ahead and click on audio device. From here, you need to set up your audio system, your input and output channels, and your input and output device. I'm gonna be using Scarlett Solo, so it's gonna be two and two. And of course, make sure you have it selected in the drop-down menus. We're gonna click apply and hit okay. Now, if you got a 4K display, you might notice things look a wee small. I have a 43 inch monitor and out of the box, I'll tell you what, Reaper, completely unusable. We can do something about that. Go ahead and close Reaper if you have it open. And we're gonna open a terminal and we're gonna use this program called Nano to edit the reaper.ini. So what we're gonna type out is this. We're gonna hit tilde forward slash dot config forward slash reaper all caps and reaper.ini. And that's gonna open up our config file. And the first thing we need to do is disable the automatic UI scale since, well, it doesn't work. We're gonna do that by setting it to zero. Now we can play around with the UI scale variable. It's 1.0 by default, but you're gonna want something closer to two. I find like 1.8 is a very, very good starting point. Feel free to experiment. Now to close the program while saving the file, we're gonna hit Control X, followed by Y, and we're gonna press Enter. Good to go. Now right out of the gate, you can see the splash screen is larger, and when we get into Reaper proper, look at that, it's no longer fun sized. So you want to get rid of Reaper, that's fine. Uninstalling it, quick and simple. Let's just change to our opt Reaper directory. And from here, we're going to run uninstall reaper sh. Now you're going to have to enter your root password and that's it. You no longer have to fear the Reaper. That's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions or suggestions, go ahead and drop those in the comments. I do read them or you can become a patron like these people flying by on the screen and come hang out with the Linux Gamecast crew and our Discord. But most importantly, get out there and make something awesome.